Sijamaliza please be seated. <laughs> Nimemaliza ya Tedros. <laughs> But I also want to take this opportunity to thank the team at uh, Kenyatta, University, uh, Kenyatta University Teaching and Referral Hospital, because we have also taken advantage of this event to also open their new cat lab. I want to congratulate you because it is quite clear that this hospital is progressively going to become the most modern medical facility on the continent of Africa. I want to thank through you, Chair, Dr. Olive Mugenda, and your entire team for the work that you have put in. We have had the opportunity to visit this hospital severally and today, is, we've seen what you've done in cancer, as she has correctly stated, will be the first country outside of, on, in Africa, outside of Egypt, to have the cyber knife. She promises me I'll be the one to open it. <laughs> we have seen what we have done for, for cancer, now for uh, cardiology, this hospital was fundamental, and it opened right on time and was instrumental in helping us manage the COVID pandemic, and we're very grateful for that. And what does this say? This just tells us that what the nation requires is just visionary men and women and people who are committed to work, you know? <laughs> We are here ce celebrating Amze like this, who had the foresight to support, start, and to understand what a facility like this would mean to the people of this republic. And we have come and continued and pushed that agenda through. But it is very sad also that we also have a few of us who are learned, but unfortunately lack wisdom and behave like very ignorant people who have never even entered a classroom door. <laughs> and I'm sorry to say this, but it is true. Huh? And for their sake, because they're in the minority, the majority appreciate. But for their sake, let me <laughs> watch and elaborate. Yeah? Property, whether ni state house ambapo naishi for the next few weeks. I'm a university kama hi. I'm a hospitali kama hi. I'm a shamba kama hi. This is the property of the Kenyan people held in trust by the government of Kenya. So you come up to Nailawa. Do you understand me? Yeah? And this is why we try and adopt a whole of government approach. When you do projects, when you do things, you look at things globally. Yeah? In order for us to be able to move a country forward. We don't operate in silos. Kila mutu anashikilia ni kama niyaki. Hajui siku zake hata kama zangu zimehesabiwa hata zake zimehesabiwa. <laughs> eh? Unaona? Utaenda uache wengine waendelee. Ama ni namna gani? Yes? But there are some people who just don't seem to get it. Unaona kama ni mali yako, sio yako, ni ya uma. Na mali ya uma ina, ni, you're just a caretaker. That is all you are, a caretaker. And when you recognize that and you recognize the whole government approach, then you also recognize that Kenya has never operated in isolation. Kenya is a respected member of the global community. On top of that, Kenya throughout her history 
is recognized as a very strong supporter of our multilateral institutions. So you come to Nelawana. That's why Dr. Baigura is here, <laughs> leading Habitat, leading UNEP, na mambo mengine kama haya. That is why we want WHO here. Love we unaenda huko kusema ati hii shamba ni yako. Shamba yako kutoka wapi? <laughs> eh? Hii ni shamba ya wa Kenya. And what this facility is going to do to help us improve healthcare, not just in Kenya, to help us meet emergencies, not just in Kenya, but throughout the African continent. Halafu we unaenda kuweka breaks hapo kwa sababu, lakini, bado nimebaki wiki tatu. We shall deal with those individuals swiftly, swiftly and effectively. Yeah. Yeah. Swiftly and very effectively. Eh, waende tutaenda nyumbani na wao. Eh. Eh. Swiftly and very effectively. Yeah. We can't have an individual people operating as individuals. We operate on behalf of the people. We operate on behalf of the global community of which we are a respected member. Sio kurukaruka huko na mambo yako na fikira zako ambayo hatujui ni zimetoka wapi? Eh? Anyway, wacha ni hiyo nimekwisha. Yangu ni kuwapongeza. Madam, on your hospital, to thank our partners WHO, to thank our partners in the United Nations, and to say that Kenya will continue to be a strong and firm supporter of all global efforts aimed at improving the lives of our people, aimed at bringing peace to our continent and to the world. And this is just a beginning. May God bless you. Asante Nisan.